The replacement devices of Note 7 have caught fire. The tech giant Samsung is still managing its worst ever phone recall. Now Samsung has suspended the production of its Galaxy Note 7 smartphones following the reports of fire in replacement devices. For the time being, Samsung has halted the production of Note 7. In fact, some of the carriers have even stopped selling or exchanging this smartphone. Uber and Ola are hardcore competitors of each other and they constantly are trying to one-up each other. Now, in a world where Uber has exited China, the next market for them to concentrate is India. Now, their goal is very clear. They want to unseat Ola from India. Now, Uber is stepping up their investments in the country and by 2018, they plan to recruit a million drivers. HTC launches flagship smartphone HTC 10 in May. Now, when the smartphone was launched, it was priced at 52,990. Now, HTC has introduced a festive offer where you will get that for 5,000 rupees less, that is 47,990. Though the company insists that the price cut is for the festive season, it hasn't specified whether it is a limited period offer. HTC 10 is one of the first HTC smartphones to have Android Nougat. Xiaomi has launched the Mi Max Prime in India. Now, Xiaomi's Mi Max Prime is another variant of the Mi Max. The difference between the regular Mi Max and the Mi Max Prime is the processor, storage and RAM. The Mi Max Prime is powered by a Snapdragon 652 processor with a 4GB of RAM and 128GB of inbuilt storage. The Mi Max Prime is priced at 19,990 rupees and will be available on Mi.com from October 70. Now, you are not the only one who's afraid of being on the same street as Tesla's autopilot cars. Germany is actually investigating on how this autopilot system actually works. German media reported internal ministerial reports said that it is a considerable danger for traffic. Now, Tesla spokesman said, We've always been clear with our customers that autopilot is a driver's assistance system that requires the driver to pay attention at all times. He said it was just like an autopilot of an airplane. It reduces driver's workload and adds an extra layer of safety unlike the pure manual driving. That's all on this edition of 360 Daily. I'm Devika Chitnis from Gadgets360. If you'd like our video, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. That's Gadgets360.